school. Yep. Now, a team of uh, handbell ringers has just released an album. They've been together for 20 years, and they started playing over a pint at their local. The sound's traditional, the tune's American, but the players are strictly Staffordshire. You're looking at Britain's latest recording stars. The in-ringers started clanging their bells 20 years ago at their local pub in Stone in Staffordshire. This week, they've released their first album. It takes hours of practice to be this good, and with some of the bells weighing about the same as five bags of sugar, you need to be a musical heavyweight. Add to that a cast iron concentration, and you've got a recipe for classy campanology. That's bell ringing to you and me. It's hard work keeping everything together with 14 players and 120 bells, but the sound is very appealing. After a few hours of throwing the bells around, it's back to where they all started, at their local. And Frank and Jenny cut the right red line, uh, and he started practice nights, regular practice nights, uh, every Monday. And we used to ring the church bells on a Monday and then go down to the red line after when he'd set the team up. So was the playing better or worse after the beer? It wasn't too bad. <laughs> it got better. At 12, Alex Bickett is the youngest player. He joined the team with his mum. It's really good, yeah, I really enjoy it. What do you like about it? Oh, well, at the practice sessions, it's a real good laugh. There's not many teams that have released albums, and there's over a thousand handball ringing teams in the country now. Any chance of a number one? Well, if the Smurfs can do it, anyone can. 